Barney Mac. Nice to meet you. What is it? I have a Comedy Central half hour special, and I'm also the voice of Lenny on the Cartoon Network Joy Cab. All right, well, let me write all this down. Okay. Thanks, bro. Can I get some change for that? Do what you do. Quit picking pussy hairs out of your tongue. I can't help it. I fucking eat pussy before every show. <laughs> I love animals. I would never buy any. Uh... Barney Mac. Her name is just Barney. Okay, Barney. So Barney went as a man mm -hmm. to do comedy. Stand up, yeah. Oh, this is going to go well. So she. Um... Just like a. But you can see it's, it's not. It... So she. She thinks that because um, people don't laugh at her joke is because she's a woman. Because she's a woman. So she said, I'm going to dress up as a man. And I'm going to get better lives. And that is a bad decision. Let's find out. Uh, I would never buy any product that have been tested on animals. Never. Because I like to do that myself at home. <laughs> Make sure the control group is isolated. You don't know what they're doing in these labs. Very loose guidelines. This lady wants me. I can totally tell. I know I'm weird. I'm a weird dude. I used to always carry a man purse, a purse. You ever carry one of those? A purse. I loved it. I loved that purse. But I was losing it. I'd lose it everywhere. I was always leaving my purse around. You know, I kept losing my purse. So I just started carrying everything on my person, my pants. I only lost my pants a couple of times. So that's really working out. All right. Thank you very much, everyone. Good night. Morning, back, ladies and gentlemen. I'm telling you, it was great. One, they didn't. None of them understood you. They were all foreigners. You do not want to have a friend like that, and, and you don't want to have a friend like that. You do not want to have a friend like that. I if you it. eat ass, you got to have someone that said, hey, you ate ass. And all these rappers, you have to have a real friend that tells you that rhyme was corny. You think it's good? It's not. I've heard that joke before. I've heard that setting before. You don't want someone that always rub you like a yes man around you. That's your first time on stage as a guy. It's like you were new and you got laughs. I know, but I felt like I was going to like just, I just thought like, Oh, I'm telling you, it was great. It was no, it was. Stop saying that. Oh my God. I'm dying. This girl's about to break down, cry. She said, I know, but I, now that I got this beard, I'm a man. I thought, I thought I'd be funny. No, bitch, you not. And it ain't because you got a. It had nothing to do with that. You just suck on stage. Listen, I know some female comics who kill it. I watch them live. I even have some online that I actually enjoy. I like watching Miss Pat. I like watching Just Hilarious. I think they're funny. I know there's this whole trope online that a lot of people are like, ah, women are never funny. Yeah, okay, look, most of my favorite comics are going to be men too. I agree with you guys. But there are some women that do make me laugh when I go out to comedy shows. It's fine. She's just not one of them because she's not good. And guess what? For every terrible woman out there in stand-up comedy, there's another 20 dudes out there who are, because there's just more men. There's a lot of bad comedy out there. There's a lot of bad stand-ups. There's a lot of people who will never make you laugh, irrespective of gender. What she's realizing is that she sucks. And ain't because her gender. You just fucking suck. That's a fucked up realization. That's it. Because all your eggs and everything that you said, but the reason why you sucked, you put it on something else. And then you realize, nah, it was not the beard. It was not the manliness. It was not the gender. It was you. Yeah. It was your jokes. And, yeah, and some people get demoralized by that. But it's like, it's actually super reassuring. Because you have complete control over your situation. You can choose to go back up. You can choose to write more. You can choose to improve. Thank God it's not the audience that determines whether or not you're funny or not. Thank God. Because then every show would be different. I'm telling you, it was good. Didn't you see me laughing? I know, but you were la I felt like you were laughing at me. I wasn't laughing at you. That's, I was laughing at your jokes. <laughs> I wish I could have been in the back of that room knowing this experiment's going on. Yeah, yeah, yeah you What were you done? Me? Yeah. Oh, you're done. You know this girl's about to go in as a man to prove herself that the reason why she's not funny is because she's a girl and people have their. As soon as it gets quiet from the darkness of the back of the room, I go, "Men are so funny," and I just keep yelling that. 
every time there's an awkward silence. Yo, man is just kings, bro. We killing comedy. And she gonna know why. Everyone else in the car is gonna be like, what the fuck is she What, what, what the fuck is up with this weirdo? And, she, and then you she, know she, you're she, like. As <laughs> soon as she comes off and she comes back to the green room, I'm like, this is a man's world. <laughs> Put your head down, put your head down, put your head down. Put your head down. Put your head down. Put your head down. And now you guys can open your eyes. Oh, oh shit. Yo, jeez, you think it's important? I'm going to magazine this on Amazon. This video is brought to you by Exter. Happy birthday, Exter. I personally love this wallet. Um, I've got my own right here. And watch is great, it's minimalistic, uh, it carries everything, they look stylish. Super compact, super sleek. It uses material like um, space grade aluminum and Italian vegan leather. That's sustainable. And there's a band to put more cash or to put your <laughs> tracker. I have a tracker on my wallet, but I'm the kind of person that loses their wallet all the time. Yeah. I put my air tag in and I'm able to track it wherever it is. It, it, most of the time it's in my house. It's my fault, it's self-inflicted, concur. And also, there's a RFID protection on it, so people are not gonna be able to scan your cars. It's in your pocket and they just beep beep, withdraw money without your consent. So, that's my wallet and you can get that wallet as well. You click on the link below, you're gonna get 25% off everything on site for their birthday. It's their birthday, they're giving you a 25% off. And how your hand, that was good. I'm telling you, that was good. No, that, that was good. Don't get, don't be upset. I just didn't be a comic. No, listen. <laughs> because I just, I'm telling I can't you. do it as a man, I can't do it as a woman. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you're, and, you're, you're, and, you're and, too brutal for standing. And and, and, that, and, that's, and that's the thing. You can't do it as a man. You can't do it. That's the realization that you said. Yeah. It's, it's you realizing that, like, it's, it's, it's yeah. You got to accept, you gotta accept bombing, man. There's been times I've been on lineups with four or five people. One of the funniest things, you come up off stage after having a mediocre set, and then you watch other comics kill it, and there's nothing more hilarious than when the audience starts coming out. They're just looking at the comics. Oh, thank you so much for the show. Thank you so much. Then they look at you. They go, yeah. And you sit there like... Oh, they do the they do the white man laugh, not uh, uh, smile. <laughs> good show, good. Sh <laughs> I know, I know my set was ass, but I appreciate you reminding me. <laughs> but you gotta you gotta take that shit in stride because at the end of the day, you gonna have some sets where you destroy it, and the other sets where you, you eat ass. It's part of the game. We're great. You're you're great as a woman. You're better as a woman. Like somebody's gonna come out here and see like some dude fucking no. cry his eyes out. No, I'm telling you. I'm serious. <laughs> or just, like I was good. I, I don't was, even care about this stupid documentary. I'm telling you. <laughs> you were great. Listen to me. I'm serious. <laughs> or just, like I was good. I, I don't was, even care about this stupid documentary. I'm telling you. <laughs> I just like I don't care if people think women are funny. I just don't even care anymore. <laughs> This feels like it can't be real. Oh man. Yeah, this feels like it can't be real. She lost her grandma or some shit. That's, that's not what that's... And, and I'm done because the guy besides is like, no, no, you, you, you were crazy. You were Stop crazy. saying. And, and he keeps laughing every time. You, you were... You were... You were so funny. You were laughing at me. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> I wasn't. I, I was like, it's like I don't even care about this documentary no more. I like, I don't even care. About it. <laughs> Dude, yeah. <laughs> it's not even that. Is that he's super close to us? She's like, <laughs> no, don't ever console me like that, dude. Don't. It will don't never. Ever. It will never happen. Yeah, don't ever. I'm gonna be like, I'm gonna. <clears throat> Yeah, that's too close, too. You good? With, the, with the eye contact, that's too close. You good? <laughs> yeah, yeah, look away. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, yeah we, this is what you should both do. Yeah, what's up? You good? Uh-huh, yeah, well, you know this. All right. All right. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That sounds like you. I'm telling you. I just think it was you are one of the fun. Everybody says how fun. Oh, yeah. You are you one of the fun. Uh, everybody listen, everybody. says. <laughs>
<laughs> I don't care if everyone thinks I'm funny. Well, seriously, you just do it. As a woman. You I, do just, it. I only care if you think I'm funny. I think you're hilarious. I was laughing. No, you don't. I wanted you back as a lady. I wanted you back as a woman up there. The girl I love. I'm telling you, why do you think I love you? It's because you're funny. I mean, you're oh, he's fucking her. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, cause, cause, cause. Yeah, no, that cause, makes dude, sense, dude, dude, dude. Cause, cause, it makes no sense. Yeah, yeah, you're funny. I want some pussy later. Of course, you're funny. You're hilarious now. Please suck my dick later. Yeah. Oh, the book. camera's on. That's right. <laughs> oh. I don't even see you as a woman or a man. You're just great. <laughs> I'm telling you, were great. Give me this. Exactly. Whoa, exactly. whoa. You're gonna kiss your lady with a beard? I think it's a satire. That's that. I, I think it's a satire. You were, you were great. I'm telling you. You were great. You were good. I'll be back in a second. No. Keep the beard on. Okay, well, there you guys have it. I, I, I want to find more clips of this, so if you guys ever find them, please send them to me. They should probably burn all the things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like I've seen that guy before. That guy looks familiar. Or there's always someone next to you that's telling you, no, you're good, you're good, you're True. good, you're good, you're good, you're good. And if you have that someone that's telling you, they keep telling you you're good when you're not, it might do that to your ego. Because you love them, you're telling yourself, why, why would that person lie to me? She's good. That person is not lying to me. So he's telling him I'm good. I think I'm good. I'm getting my ego propped up, and then I go out there. If he's telling I'm good, and all my friends are lying to me, and I think I'm good and I can't do this, it cannot be me. It has to be my gender or something else, and they're trying to find ways to whatever. That's, the That's reason still her fault. I'm not saying no. I'm just saying these are the reasons why. It was those reasons are wrong. And yeah, you have to have self-awareness, and you have to have, like, it's your responsibility at the end of the day. I don't, I don't care what friends are telling you this, who is saying this. If you run a restaurant, your customers come and they say your food's dog shit, your food's dog shit. And if you're listening to your friends or anybody mm. else over your customers, you don't deserve to be in the business. That's it. Mm. That's what I think. And if you don't keep all this other stuff, dude, it has a vested interest in lying to you because he wants to bang you. Sure. <clears throat> I... That's already weird enough. Comics fucking each other, I've always felt it was a weird dynamic. But anyways, anything else you want to say? No. All right, let's know what you guys think.